Well, she happens to be thrilled about bringing performance. Yeah, the, the performance level has, has been what it has been for a number of weeks. Um, I think it's, it's always exciting to see young players, uh, talents and young guys that have got great technique. And um, But what was important as well is the, they understand how to fight as well, which is very important. So, um, you know, a wonderful performance against a team that, you know, Steve's done a brilliant job here very quickly. Got the team very hard to beat. And, uh, and obviously it was an experienced team that was out tonight. So, uh, so for us to... To dominate the game like we've done and to to get the goals and especially the second goal typified what we're about. So uh, so very pleasing. He's still getting up to speed. It's been difficult for him. He was out for a long time and he's come to here having missed a, a big part of pre season. Uh, but every day he's getting better. He's got great football arrogance, you know, he's terrific on the ball. Um you see his first goal he's got good technique, he's not frightened to shoot. In the second goal, he can arrive in the box and get a goal. So, uh, so yeah. But I thought it was a real team ethic tonight. I think the uh, the performance overall, the confidence on the ball, the ability to pass it, and um, and the, the courage to, to want to get on the ball was was very uh, very prominent with the players. Well, I think at the moment, I've actually only got 12 fit senior players. You know which is incredible, really. Um, but what I'll always do, I'll always, irrespective of age, look at young players. You know, if, if a young player has got the talent and he's got the personality and the ability to learn, and he's got the courage then to, to get on the ball, then I'll always look at him. And, um, so, uh, as I said, we, we travelled to the Europa League last week to play a team that was a very good side and no one expected us and we put in a wonderful performance. Tonight, I'm sure 99.9% .9 of people watching and here and back in the telly were thinking that this would be a comfortable victory for, for West Brom but I think it was a symbolic night as well because it shows the how far we've, we're moving as a group from our first day of the season here when we were probably a wee bit disjointed and players not quite understanding my methods of work to really the last three or four weeks where our tempo and rhythm and our relentless possession has started to come through and and so it was, it was good to see that, and, and obviously, and it's good to win because that's why we're here. Do you find it easier to impress your kind of philosophies and ideas on, on these young players? No, no. I think it's top players want to play football. Every footballer will tell you the best thing, other than scoring goals in the game, is having the ball. And uh, so, I was like Stephen Gerrard. You know, you've seen him at the weekend against Manchester United. He was an outstanding player on the field. You know, getting on the ball, boys like Glenn Johnson. So, so now I think whether it's a young player or uh, a senior player, all players want to be able to play football, and uh, and all I do is try to build a framework and give them that confidence to go and play, and um, and certainly tonight is in particular with the young players they they were outstanding. Brendan, you've got Swansea in the next round, obviously that'll be a special occasion. Very much so. <coughs> it's a wonderful club. It's a brilliant club, Swansea, and. As I said, I was in no rush to leave there. I could only leave there to go to, you know, another special club, and um, so it'll be a great night. I think the competition you you prefer home games than to travel, so to to play Swansea at um, at Anfield, two wonderful sets of supporters. I'm sure it'll be a real good night. I said to the players afterwards, you know, that the the Carling Cup is stored at Anfield. And I don't want us to give it up too easy. I want us to fight, you know, even though it's difficult because of our lack of depth in the group. But I think you see tonight, if you get, you know, the young players fighting and the brilliant play, senior player like Jimmy Carricker tonight, and 34 years of age, and he made that one run up the side against Lukaku, who's nearly half his age, and been fantastic. So certainly it's a competition that we want to do well in. Of course, we'll be really, really stretched you know, we've got the Europa League, we've got the Premier League that we want to do well in. So um, so between now and January, we're going to be really stretched. But the nature of this club is we want to we want to win every game. But for me, there's other outcomes as well. If I can also look and, and we get a few young players out of it, the performances, then that'll really help us moving forward. Young players, Jerome, youngest player, Yeah, 
yeah, I said to him congratulations, and he got a nice round of applause afterwards in the in the changing room. And it was nice. Obviously, Jack Robinson was the previous one before that, and he was playing at left back. Um, but now his hard work begins. You know, it's, it's no good being the youngest player and then drifting out of it. But thankfully, he's a good kid. You know, I've worked with him a number of times so far, and he's really focused and got good concentration, and and he wants to learn. And once you've got that hunger to learn as a young player, then it's it can take you a long way. Was it encouraging to one in the league and to have that confidence from the fans? They've been brilliant for me, I've got to say. As I said, I repeat, the Liverpool supporters are very educated and they're clever. You know, they understand that our resources were really, really stretched and the the support they've given the team, more importantly, and myself, has been incredible since the first day I've come into here. So I think the biggest thing we've got now at Liverpool is the reality. You know the, the real situation that we're in. This is a, one of iconic clubs in world football, um, but we're not at that level as a team, and it's going to take a wee bit of time to build it and create an identity again to hopefully get us up to that level. But they see that we're working hard to do that, and when you fight for your life as a manager and players, then supporters normally respond to that, and uh, that was the response tonight, as it has been throughout my time here. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. Okay.